This is the redesigned 2022 Nissan Frontier. Look out, Tacoma. I'm Jeff Teague. This is Auto Jeff Reviews. Today we're looking at the mid-sized truck segment that has been dominated by Toyota Tacoma for a decade and a half. Well, Nissan Frontier redesigned this bad boy right here. It's got looks. Wait until you see the interior. Pretty impressive. Now let's give props where props is due because Fred Anderson Nissan in Raleigh on Glenwood Avenue was really nice and they let me review this vehicle. So thank you everybody. If you're in the market for a Nissan, please come see Fred Anderson Nissan in Raleigh, North Carolina. They're great to work with, make the process nice and easy and they're friendly too. Thank you. If you're a fan of Nissan, if you're a fan of Toyota, or anything else that makes up the mid-size truck segment, take a look at this bad boy right here because that is so sharp. Every girl crazy about a sharp dress truck. Nissan Frontier 2022 has several different trim levels. The S model, this is the SV, the Pro X, Pro 4X. So it depends on whether you want a lower budget, a higher budget, and of course, options to go along with it. But take a look as we walk around like we're at a car show. We're gonna go segment by segment, part by part. Interior time. We're gonna look at the gray interior of this one right here. We'll look at it through the back seats because one thing I wanna point out, it looks like it has a lot of leg room for the rear seat passengers. It seems to be very tall, we'll test that out because you have to know how it's gonna be for you personally. Okay, now we're gonna go grab handle time. Look at this, modernized. Love the display. The center down below to me is something I would have to get used to, but it's cool. We'll look at that closer, but for now, get a feel for this. And then we'll look from this angle. This one's been upgraded from stock with the convenience package and the technology package. We're gonna look at the window sticker to see those packages right now. That way we can look along with it for what it has and what it has been added, okay? And then we'll look at the window sticker at the very end of the video. So here's the 2022 Nissan Frontier SV, sort of the middle wedged in there. Crew cab, four x four, automatic. MSRP from the factory is 35,000. It has splash guards, electronic tailgate lock, the convenience package. Feel free to look at these options. We'll see them as we go along as well. And then you can see floor mats, and then it has the technology package. You can see this one will not have the spray on bed liner, but you can get that, just don't delete it. Let's take a look at this first of all, and we're gonna see things that are standard, and we're gonna see things that have been added to the vehicle here. Number one, the new Nissan logo. It's modernized, it looks, actually it looks like Iron Man, and it also looks like I wanna turn it and Maybe something magical will happen or something will appear. We've got Frontier stamped in here so people can see, hey, look at me, I'm new. This has halogen headlights on it, but it has been upgraded with one of the packages to give you the LED lights and the fog lights, both halogen as well. You can see this dark gray grill, not too big, not too small. It fits pretty well here. And then we've got our tow hooks right here so that we can do some work when we need to. Let's see what else has been added. Now look here to see part of safety and security. This has the automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, intelligent forward collision warning. If you want more safety features, you'll get the tech package, technology package, just under $1,000, lane departure warning, blind spot monitor, blind spot warning, rear cross traffic alert, rear sonar system, Rear automatic braking, high beam assist, intelligent cruise control. Here's what she looks like with all the lights on. How do I look? How do I look? It's got the color keyed front bumper and then it's got the dark silver gray bottom bumper. Now, 
first of all, we do not have a prop rod. I love the pneumatic lifts. It's got soundproofing here, but this right here, this is magic, my friends, because it's a 3.8 liter V6 engine. Get this, 310 horsepower, 281 pound-feet of torque. It's matched with a nine-speed automatic transmission. It's got some power, got some pep, folks. This comes with four on the fly system, two-speed transfer case with four high, four low. So what's gonna give it its ride comfort? Well, it's got independent double wishbone front suspension with stabilizer bar, and then it's got overslung multi-leaf rear suspension. So take a look at this profile. It's a sharp looking truck, right? So let's see as we come around to the front, what we're gonna notice that might jump out at us. First of all, you see, this looks great with the red paint. We've got 17 inch alloy wheels, splash guards have been added. So if that's something that would interest you, I always recommend splash guards. I believe it's $210, no holla. It has color keyed side mirrors with blind spot monitor in the house. Then we've got, got a smart key right here, folks. So let's take a look at this. You've got lock, unlock, but it is not the sensor when you walk up to it, it unlocks, okay? So you have to push this button, no big deal. And then push this button to lock it up. Again, blind spot monitor right here. Gas tank right here. It's a pretty nice looking truck, wouldn't you say? See if we can show that blind spot monitor. I'm always fascinated to know how people Work their blind spot monitor. There it is, orange amber color, right up there where you're gonna be looking to see if there's a car. It's a great second opinion, Doc. Let's try it one more time. Ho! And you can see it on the passenger side as well. Fuel facts, we've got a 21 gallon fuel tank. It's 17 MPG city. 22 mpg highway combined of 19 mpg you down with mpg yeah you know me here's a closer look at the 17 inch alloy wheels it's a great design and it has that new nissan logo right there so you know what you're looking at with your kicks it's also a six lug pattern and then it's got vented front and rear disc brakes but first let me take a selfie and as we walk around notice the rear tail light pattern, how it wraps around so that you can see from the side, so it improves visibility. Plain, part of the convenience package we're gonna find in the back bed. No light, let's open up the door. Adds in the LED under rail system. You'll see the Utilitrack system also. That's where you can tie down your bed cleats. The convenience package does give you a spray on bed liner, but believe it or not, this one has deleted that part of the package. So it's canceled. Also, rear sonar has been added to the vehicle. See the tow hitch, the wiring harness, and we've got Frontier stamped into the bed along with the new Lisan branding. Some other things I notice, this has the automatic tailgate lock. It's got the backup camera and a nice big wide release, slow lowering. I love it. Remember, this is how it is stock. You can add the spray on bed liner with the convenience package, but individually you can also delete that package. I think it's $400 or $500 to take it off. It's got tie downs. It's also got power back here, the 120 volt plug. How would you use this truck? And then look, we've got the sliding glass right up there in the front. <laughs> Towing capacity, maximum tow capacity, 6,330 pounds, and then a payload of 1,290. And that's about what you'd expect for plane. And that's what you'd expect somewhere around that range for the midsize truck segment. I'm reviewing in an airstrip. Landing pattern, takeoff pattern. Safe travels, my friends. So let's take a look again inside. Love that eight inch screen there. 
the display, very impressive. It just looks so modern and I love a vehicle in this class to have modern safety, technology, and just appearance. It has a whole vibe in it of today's age. I'm about to sit back here so we can see how it fits. If it fits, I sit. There's the sliding glass. So let's take a look what we're dealing with here. I've got this seat back and reclined. I've got this seat more forward so you can get a look for rear seat legroom. I'm five foot eight. I've got this much room. I'd say that's about seven inches. And then we've got pockets right here. We've got nice room here, although you do have a little bit of a hump, says Buffalo Bill. And then here, got the grab handle, grab handle, and I've got plenty of room for headroom, for shoulder room, for chicken dance room as well. And I see some plugins. That's right. In this particular one, we've got two different kinds of connectivity. And then we've also got the 120 volt, which matches the 120 volt that you find in the back bed because of the additional package. And then here, it's a thin one, but it's squishy. And I like how the cup holders are nice and big so that you can fit different sizes. We like that, right? And of course you can fit three people across. To me, the seats, it's kind of a combination of firm, but also soft. Squishy in the seat, kind of stiffer on the back like you to be the judge of this, but look at that. Look at that bottle holder. It'll fit like a thin hydro flask or something. Now this, this is a comfortable driver's seat here. It's squishy in the rear, gives you support, but yet comfort here. It wraps around. I like this one. Power driver's seat that goes backward. It can go forward as well. There's a lot of room in here. I feel very comfortable. It's open. It's spacious. Okay, so you can take a snooze and relax right here. For this one, I chose to turn the engine on so you can just hear the background engine noise. This is a one-touch driver, mirror adjustment. I like the nice metallic accents, kind of breaks up the gray. Parking sensors, you got the cargo lamp, traction control on and off, draws power to the back, tow mode, brightness of the dash, the trip reset, leather steering wheel, and these controls right here, they're easy enough to understand. I really think they did a great job with their branding there. I said, Brandy, you're a fine girl. All right, so look at this right here. We've got a nice big display that's gonna tell us lots of information about our vehicle. Let's take a look at what we can see. You use these controls here to go across and then to go up and down. Very easy to understand on this one, right? Let's go across. You can see your off-roading information, so it tells you where the traction and power is gonna be. It can tell you your angle. I like that, that's cool, man. Radio, driving aid, so it tells you your safety features. And tire pressure for all four tires. Uh, uh, adjust settings as needed and back. Here's our eight inch touch screen. And to me, this is sort of the cornerstone of the interior because it's crystal clear. It's easy to understand. It's touch screen with a little, tsh, tsh, I don't want that on. Okay, so we can do that. We can go to our menu. We can do connections. We can do phone. The camera, let's put this in reverse. So you can see I've got some floor mats back there. Really clear picture, very impressive. And then it's got your lines where you're safe to keep going back. You should be cautious and you should stop. 
some other things that you might want to see. Let's go down this way. There's our push button start and stop. Then you can adjust this on the fly. Two wheel drive, four high, four low. It's got digital dual temperature controls. Got a 12 volt circular port. This one's got heated seats, high and low, heated steering wheel, parking sensors, two more USB. And then this right here, this is so interesting because you've got the handles, but it fits. It has that tough look to it. I kind of dig it the more I get used to it. I might want these cup holders to be a little bit bigger, but we don't need to get all ticky tacky, do we? And then nice storage, but it does have a 12 volt circular port. Shall we look around a little more? The glove box, this one's got wheel locks. You can see that it's been done. Now, what do you think about the color coordination? I've seen lots of different varieties here. Normally you don't mix these two shades together. Are we throwing shade? Maybe a little. Not sure how I feel about that. But I do appreciate the fact that they have broken up the interior to give variety. Just don't know what I think of that. Together, this with this with this. Okay, up top, I like that. It's nice and grippy so you could put something you want to have stabilized like a Garmin. You could put your wallet up here, maybe anything else, but I don't think it's gonna roll around. Maybe some change. This one right here, make that change. This one does not have an auto dimming rear view mirror, but you can dim it out by flipping the switch. A big sunglass holder right here. Got our lights. We've got a slider so we can, might as well be blocking out the sun. Is it lighted? I don't think so. That's what Obi-Wan said in one of the movies, Attack of the Clones. I don't think so. Now we're always looking for more storage in our trucks, right? Why wouldn't we? Well, we've got levers here on the side so you can lift this up and I'll show you this in a minute. You've got extra storage down below. Really cool stuff. Can I make it over? It's like American Ninja Warrior. And then just pop that lever. You've got storage here, right? That's cool. And then, and then you can pull the lever so that you can give yourself a different kind of storage, a flatter surface for stacking up. Here's the passenger side under storage. It's clever use of space. This is called fighting for every little bit of space you got, baby. So now let's pop this down and then I'll show you what's behind here. It's like, let's make a deal. What's behind door number one? Not much, maybe something. And then behind this space, we've got our jack equipment. Again, great use of space. Look here though, we've got the latches for child safety seats. Sliding, sliding, you can do it. It's electric, boogie, woogie, woogie. Let's look at the full window sticker now. 2022 Nissan Frontier. This is the crew cab, not the king cab, which is like a cab and a half or an excess cab if you're in the Tacoma market. Here we go, 3.8 liter V6 engine. Look at that power. Feel free to stop the video so you can look on your own. It's got the Nissan Connect, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Bluetooth, Sirius XM, six speakers standard. Then we've got comfort and convenience. I just love that under storage. Exterior features. Remember, we started at 35.1. We're gonna add in splash guards, the electronic tailgate lock, then this $2,000 convenience package. Stop the video if you wanna look on your own. Carpet mats, technology package, and then look, we're deleting the spray-on bed liner. Where do we find that? We find it right here in the convenience package at the top. I'm letting the plane go by. Destination charges and 39585.
Here's the fuel facts. Just the facts, ma'am, just the facts. Safety rating's not quite out yet. Red alert with sandstone interior. Everyone, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you being part of my channel. If you're new, I would love it if you hit subscribe, the like button, and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this one. What truck is your favorite? Has this video changed your opinion of the mid-size truck segment? What do you think? Also, I'm on Instagram at Auto Jeff Reviews, and you can find me at autojeff.com. Thanks everybody so much. See you next time.